I'm Stephen Ben Danoon, and you're watching Israeli News Live here on December the 31st, the uh, last day of the year of 2014. According to the Gregorian calendar, the new year will begin for the world, pretty much all the world except for Israel. And uh, that will be a little bit later tonight, Israeli time. Uh, it's 8 p.m., so in four hours in Israel, New Year's will begin. Europe is uh, about an hour different in time there, so in, in Europe, it's only 7 p.m. Uh, here. So anyway, I just wanted to give you a little update. Uh, those of you may already uh, be aware that um, pal the Palestinian bid with the United Nations did not pass. It did fail the vote there, and Israel has summoned the French ambassador uh, over their stand for the PA uh, to be a, or the Palestinian Authority to be, become a state. The foreign ministry spokesman Emmanuel uh, Nahashon told AFP that the ambassador, Patrick uh, Masonov, was being summoned to the ministry in Jerusalem later in the day. Only eight countries supported the proposal. Russia, China, France, Jordan, uh, Chad, Luxembourg, Argentina, and Chile. The United States and Austra Australia, excuse me, Australia opposed Five countries abstained, United Kingdom, Rwanda, Nigeria, Lithuania, and South Korea. Um, still, it's a very troubling uh, thought for those countries that did abstain. And, and yet again, as we iterated a, uh, about a week or so ago on Israeli News Live, the United States had made a change in its posture to not or to veto this particular action there. Of course, Australia joined in with them. So it must be somewhere that the United States is getting concessions from the Israeli government uh, for either a two-state solution or to get more of what the Vatican is looking or hoping to get themselves in return uh, for for uh, for blocking this uh, bid for the, for the UN. Mahmoud Abbas also is filing uh, a, a request to join the ICC, that's the uh, International Criminal uh, Court. Uh, he is seeking a new avenue for action against Israel after the failed UN resolution calling Israel to withdraw to the 1949 armistice lines, and uh, that was on AFP's report. Uh, the Palestinian or the PA has hoped that the ICC membership will pave the way for war crime uh, prosecutions against Israeli officials for their presence in Jewish areas of Judea and Samaria. The Palestinians have had the option of applying for membership of the ICC and uh, a raft of UN agencies since late 2012 when it won recognition as a UN observer state. This was reported in Israel's national news. Moving on to other news. Al Jazeera is actually reporting about Israel's uh, plan or, or approved uh, plans already for test drilling up in the Golan for oil. Al Jazeera was very much a staunch uh, opponent of this as well as many other Arabic uh, nations for the test drilling saying that this particular land is Syrian land under occupation. So therefore there has been a lot of uh, dust being stirred up over Israel, be given, given the rights to be able to do test drilling here. And, uh, and uh, Al Jazeera has been heavily condemning this test drilling going on in uh, the Isra Israeli territories of the Golan. Uh, there has also been concerns about whether or not it will have any kind of uh, adverse effect on the environment. But it's kind of ironic, though, that there would be these particular issues being brought up when uh, Mahmoud Abbas has already made an agreement with Russia. Uh, there was a signed agreement with Russia for, for the drilling of oil in the West Bank and as well in uh, Gaza for natural gas off the coastline there. So it's really just a matter, a, a race of time for the oil there. And, and no doubt if, uh, if the Israelis discover the oil first, it will uh, certainly begin to drain the oil from the different uh, areas of the West Bank which can no doubt fuel tensions in the, in the region furthermore, even in the case of Russia. I'm Stephen Ben Danoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Happy New Year to the rest of you guys around the world.